Definitely. <laughs> Welcome back to Mia's life today. I'm doing another really really exciting video I feel like I say this in every single video that I film anyway So on Sunday I went and interviewed the Transformer 5 stars and in yesterday's video I showed me interviewing Josh Duhamel so today I'm doing interviewing Laura Haddock and it was such an amazing experience to get to meet Laura so let's just get straight on to the interview so who's your favorite transformer um traditionally Bumblebee but in this movie I really like Cogman yeah I really like Bumblebee yeah see your fave <laughs> he's just nice, isn't he? Yeah. He's just sweet and you think he'd always have your back. Yeah, he's kind of funny as well. Yeah, and he's funny. So, what was your favourite film as a teenager? As a teenager? Ooh, my favourite film as a kid was, was um, Lamb Before Time and Pollyanna I really liked, which is, has got an actress called Hayley Mills in it. But as a teenager, I watched Bridget Jones's Diary a lot when I was a teenager. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen that. No. Why no. did you like it though? It made me feel safe and cosy and um, and it was really funny and it was British and I quite liked the humour um, and it's just silly, silly filmmaking and I really loved it. I also liked a film called Father of the Bride which is one that I used to watch with my dad a lot. What was it about? About a girl getting married and how that feels for her dad um, to lose his daughter to another um, man that she's getting married to and it's a real comedy with Steve Martin and Diane Keaton and it's just real laugh out loud stuff. Cool. <laughs> so now I'm going to ask you a bit of like, it's sort of like a trivia question, it's a bit random. So what is the most popular type of banana? The most popular type of banana? Yeah. The yellow one? <laughs> <laughs> There's like different types, like I think it may be to do with like where they're grown or things like that. I'm well I know that sure. my little boy eats a banana every day with his breakfast and it's a big yellow one. <laughs> yeah, they're called Cavendish. Cavendish. That's the most popular one like in all of the supermarkets. How do you know so much about bananas? Basically this morning my um, stepdad loves like what is the most popular p type of banana and then I, I didn't actually have a clue, and he told me, and then I thought that I could ask you guys as well. Pretty cool. Does anybody else know the difference between bananas? No. Awesome. So it's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> the little ones are cute as well, though. Yeah. I had one in, in Hawaii. I had a really little banana. In I went to Sri Lanka once, and I had like a little red one. Oh. That was really nice. A red one? Yeah, I'm not is, sure Does what it still called. look like the same colour fruit when you open the skin? I think so. I can't quite remember. <laughs> But this, like, the skin, the peel, was red. Hmm, interesting. So my last question for you is, do you believe in unicorns? Yes. Do you? Definitely. <laughs> unicorns are amazing. They are amazing. Yeah. Why are they so amazing to you? Because I feel like lots of people don't believe in them, but I feel like they're amazing and they're just, like, something that you can always think of your back in your mind if you're feeling down you can just think of a unicorn. unicorn and then you're happy I really agree with that next time I'm feeling down I'm gonna think of a unicorn <laughs> so it was really nice a pleasure to meet you thank it you was so really much. nice to meet you thank you so much talking about bananas and unicorns it's the best morning ever <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me interview Laura Haddock and once again it was such an amazing experience to get to interview Laura and I'm so grateful so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching I'll see you tomorrow bye guys